Hey everybody, Dallas again with Chaos Fragrances. Today we're back with another weekly fragrance rotation video and like we do in all of these, I'm gonna go over the fragrances I've worn throughout the past week and just kind of give you a rundown on them and just my overall thoughts on all these scents. So a couple things before we get started. First, let me know down in the comments what you guys wore the past week. Just leave your rotation down below. Second thing is make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and then also turn on post notifications. Give this video a like. That way all these new videos show up and are delivered directly to your phone so that way you can watch them right away. And now that that's out of the way, let's go and jump right into this rotation, starting off with what I wore on Wednesday. And I wore Yves Saint Laurent Reeve Gauche, or Reeve Gauche, however you pronounce that. I wore this one on Wednesday to start off my week. This is a new pickup for me, and I've really been wanting to get this one for a while, and I finally found a bottle of it for a pretty decent price. So I've been kind of into these fougere aromatic fragrances, these kind of classic barbershop fragrances, and this is one that I really wanted to pick up for a long time now. So I was looking for the original tin can version, just kind of the OG. Couldn't really find any for a price that I was willing to pay. Um, so ultimately I ended up going with this version, which is the like newest version. This scent is discontinued again, so that tin can was discontinued. And then they released it as a uh, La Collection fragrance. And you'll see that bottle has like a black uh, wrap around it. And they changed it again to this bottle, which is like all clear like this. This bottle is from 2018, and again, it is discontinued again. So I do have the most recent formulation of the scent. I do wish I could have gotten something a little bit older, but I just really settled for what I could get. So this one's not gonna be for everyone. I'll admit that up front. Uh, if you don't like aromatic fougere fragrances, if you just don't like anything that smells kind of old school, this is not gonna be for you. But I really do enjoy this type of scent, and my girlfriend likes this one as well, which kind of surprised me a little bit. She did give it a pretty good rating, so that's pretty cool that she likes it because this is one that I'm definitely going to be wearing a lot for fall. That's what I wore on Wednesday. On Thursday, I went with Baccarat Rouge 540. So this one, you already know about Baccarat Rouge 540. I've talked about this on my channel a lot. This is a really unique scent, at least in my personal opinion. Definitely nothing like I've ever smelled before. And when I first smelled this one, it really kind of intrigued me. This is something that smells like pure luxury to me. It smells like, you know, something that a very successful person would wear. And you know, it does come with a high price tag. So you would kind of hope that with that high price you're paying, you're getting something that does smell very expensive and high quality. And this one definitely does. Really, this is another one that's not gonna be for everyone. It's a little bit more unique, but I do really like this scent and it's perfect for this time of the year when it starts to cool off a little bit. Uh, the cooler weather helps to somewhat tame the scent down because this one is very, very strong. It's very sweet has really strong projections, so you really want a little bit of cool weather to kind of settle it down. But that's what I wore on Thursday, Baccarat Rouge 540, really nice, pleasant scent. On Friday, I went with Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. So this one, pretty popular in the community, although I don't think it gets as much talk now as it used to. Back when this one first came out and when this one was getting talked about, it was getting a lot of hype and a lot of people were wearing it. A lot of people were really just talking about it in general. But I honestly think that the hype around Ultra Male has died down quite a bit because I really don't see it featured in that many videos anymore. Now, granted, I don't necessarily watch that many fragrance reviews anymore uh, to where I would see for sure. I'm having trouble getting focused on this. Um, but from what I've seen, you know, not too many people really talk about this one. Um, but for me, I really like this scent, especially for fall. It works great in the fall. This is another one, very sweet and very strong. So you want cold weather to kind of tame this scent down because if you wear this in the spring, if you wear this in the summer, really it's not a great option for that. Very loud, very strong, very sweet. This one has pear, vanilla, some tonka bean, um, some lavender as well. Um, the pear and the vanilla are what I get the most. Really like that combination of notes. And this is one that, despite it being a designer scent, and a lot of people would kind of jump and call it generic, I think that this one is pretty unique in and of itself. It's really something that I haven't really smelled anything like before, and I really like it. So that's what I wore on Friday, Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. All right, up next on Saturday, I went with Fragrance One Office for Men. So... I wore the sample on Saturday because I didn't have a bottle of it yet. And then, fast forward to a few days later, I ended up getting in a full 
100 mil bottle. Um, it's the new bottle style here. I ended up actually grabbing this one from a subscriber off of eBay. So I didn't pay the retail price that this goes for. Um, I bought it from him, which is already marked down. And then on top of that, eBay was also running a 15% off coupon, which saved me about 20 bucks. So really, I got a pretty good deal on it. Not having to pay retail was nice. So big shout out to my friend Nicholas for hooking me up with this bottle. It's pretty cool that I purchased this from a subscriber. Um, I didn't even have any idea. Uh, he sent me a message after I bought it. So it's always cool to kind of run into you guys off of YouTube. Uh, so again, thank you to you for getting this to me quick and for getting it to me at a good price. But this is what I wore on Saturday. I picked this one up for a reason and you know I have done a review on this one already. I've kind of come back around to it. I reviewed it from the sample. As you can see I pretty much finished it up. Um, I've used it up basically and my thoughts on this scent have changed a little bit so expect to see maybe a re-review of the scent. We'll see. Um, expect to see it in a couple videos at least because I have had a little bit of a change of mind on the scent. Love it or hate it, whether you like Jeremy Fragrance or not. You got to remember that Jeremy Fragrance didn't create the fragrance. I mean, he wasn't the perfumer. Um, Alberto Marias was the perfumer. So directing the hate towards him, I mean, it was his creative direction. But I really kind of had a change of mind on the scent. And you'll see that in some upcoming videos. But I did wear this one on Saturday. Um, again, it was from the sample. But you know, now I have worn it from the bottle, uh, Office for Men. Moving on to Sunday, I went with CH Men Privé by Carolina Herrera. So... CH Men Privé, big fan of this scent. I talk about this one and I also talk about the original CH Men quite often and I really like both of them. In terms of designer fragrances, both are something quite a bit different out there and it's something that really kind of intrigued me when I smelled both of them for the first time. Um, CH Men Privé, I did get first. It was a blind buy. Um, I got it pretty early on in my collecting experience and it really blew me away. Even now, I still do really like the scent. My main problem with CH Men Privé is it doesn't last that long. The regular CH Men doesn't last as long either, but you would expect more out of this one being that, you know, it does focus more on leather with that uh, whiskey quality as well. It just doesn't have the performance I would expect from a leather-based fragrance like this. When you smell this one, you're probably going to think that, ooh, this is going to be strong in the performance, but it really isn't. Do really like this one. Do like the original CH Men as well. I go back and forth between them. I still do think I prefer the original just a little bit more, but I honestly love coming back to Privé. Really, really nice scent. Wore that on Sunday. On Monday, I went with Guerlain Lome IDL Cologne. So I went with a little bit of a fresher fragrance on Monday just because, you know, like I've mentioned before in my top 10 fall fragrances video when we're in fall we still have some pretty hot days and so i will oftentimes reach for some fresher fragrances in fall what i like about this one though is the fact that this one is a little bit fresh with that nice zesty lemon but you still do have a lot of that almond note and a lot of that sweetness that you get from the guerlain loam series this one just is freshened up and lightened up a little bit more so while it does still lean fresher does still have a lot of sweetness as well so really this one could work great for the fall kind of in the somewhat cooler weather to warm weather that's what i wore on monday just for something a little bit fresh give me a little bit of like a zesty kick um, just because didn't really want to wear something too sweet when it's hot outside so that's what i wore on monday guerlain loam idl cologne and then also a quick note about this scent is this one is now discontinued so if you're wanting to pick up a bottle you're going to want to be doing that soon before they start to skyrocket in price. Um, I do have them on my website, chaosfragrances.com. You can pick one up there in a 100 ml bottle or a 50 ml bottle. You can probably get them elsewhere also, but I would say definitely do that because right now they are pretty, they are pretty inexpensive. This really wasn't an inexpensive fragrance to begin with, but it's gonna end up becoming one. So if you, whether you already own the scent and you wanna pick up a backup bottle or two or if you haven't tried it yet and you want to, now's the time to do it. I wouldn't really wait because I don't know when the prices are going to go up. I mean, I'm sure there's a ton of these bottles still floating around just because, you know, discounters buy the crap out of them and everything. But at some point, prices are going to go up and it's going to start to get hard to find. So Monday, Guerlain Loam, IDL Cologne. On Tuesday to finish the week, I went with Gucci Envy. So, you know, I've really been pulling this one out here a little bit more lately, not even necessarily to wear because I am somewhat conservative with this fragrance, although I did wear it on Tuesday. 
I just pick this one up a lot and just smell it from the atomizer because really this stuff smells incredible. It really is something different, something unique. That's kind of been the trend for a lot of the fragrances in this video is kind of wanting to go for some stuff that is just a little bit different compared to more mainstream fragrances. And this is definitely one of those scents that is not like what is normally released today. And of course, this one isn't released anymore, which sucks, but this one is really, really nice scent. Wore this one on Tuesday, nice spicy ginger incense fragrance. It's sweet. It just has a nice classic masculine smell to it. A little bit of like a uh, upscale vibe as well. This smells like something a CEO would wear, like a boss would wear. It's just got like a higher up type of smell, like, you know, something that a boss would wear. So that's why we're on Tuesday, Gucci Envy. So guys, that was what I wore throughout the past week. Again, make sure you let me know down below in the comments which fragrances you guys wore. And that's pretty much going to be it for this video. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss an I post. And that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.